Bill and Christina in the morning. Yes. That's Off a ripoff. That's a ripoff of a oh, show. Oh, yeah. You better clarify that. Or we're going to get in trouble. It's from, it's from Community. If you get it, you got it. Okay, good. Welcome to Coffee Talk. Coffee Talk. We got some new microphones that we're playing around with, uh, and we were uh, experimenting with them yesterday. Uh, I thought they sounded pretty good. Uh, outside of the closet, if, if you don't know, we do most of our recording in our state-of-the-art uh, sound closet, by which I mean our closet. Yeah, and I think Bill sounds pretty good, but um, it's these two lapel mics, and it plugs into the iPhone. And um, since they switched from Spotify or they joined Spotify instead of Anchor, they've added some recording tools to the app. And so I thought, hey, why not give this a try? Um, I think my voice sounds substantially different in this recording, but that's OK. Hey, hit us up on at no one's underscore beauty if you think Christina sounds like crap. <laughs> yes. So uh, uh, this is meant to be just a quick drop in on a topic that we did not observe uh, a ton about, but uh, we thought it might be interesting. We just and observed a little, and with Father's Day tomorrow. Hey, tomorrow. Oh, you're a dad. Happy Father's Day. Oh, thank hey, you. Tomorrow. I, I hope you do as much for me on Father's Day as I did for you on Mother's Day. Which was a lot of nothing. The same yeah, every day. Kind of how the days go. Yeah. Uh, Other people celebrate these things more. Yeah, they do. Should we do more? I don't know. We're fine. As long as we're not bitter. Are you bitter? I'm not if, bitter. If we have bitterness, then we should do more. I'm, I'm more lethargic than bitter. What is lethargic? Uh, without energy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Apathetic. Apathetic is a better word there. Okay. Yeah. Of course. Well, are you bitter? No. Okay. So we're good. We're good. Um, but I did get uh, an article this morning from the Free Press. And if you aren't a subscriber to the Free Press uh, with Barry Weiss, I highly recommend it. Uh, for a very uh, is it free now it is not it's like it's not five bucks or four yeah bucks so it goes along with the sub stack where we pay five bucks a month and that's how it started but they have expanded into the free press and you can go on the website and get the free articles but the the weekly is that right yeah the, yeah they do have a handful of uh things that they put out for free and i do uh well i'm not going to say what i do on a recording because i don't want to get in trouble with the free press but they're good articles. And this morning, there was one about Father's. Yeah, which I, I actually didn't even realize. I, do, I know Father's Day is in June uh, because it's one of the two or three times a year I talk to my dad. So um, the, the title of this article was Dads Can't Have It All Either. And I'm thinking, which is oh, great. this is about to be pretty angst ridden. Uh, and it wasn't. And, and it wasn't. And there's... there's uh, it sounds like it was more encouraging. It, well, it, it it was. I'm trying to remember the name of this other book that I read, uh, talking about how boys are falling behind writ large in oh, in, in society, and, like having a purpose. And yeah, there's talk, there's talk about lost purpose, and there's talk about lost opportunities economically. And there's if you look at the statistics of who's going into prison, who's dropping out of school, who's going into college, men are just just falling They're, to the wayside. Yeah, you um, guys are getting hit the hardest. Yeah, and without uh, getting into any whys, and that is just that's just what the numbers bear out. And so when I uh, read, men can't have it all either. I'm like, well, yeah, that's that's true. All these things that we say about the sacrifices women make, a, a lot of them are also true for men. Um, even if they're at a different scale, they're still somewhat true. So, so I read the article, and what I found the most interesting about it is the constant recurring theme in men's uh, articles and men's journalism with this appeal to stoicism. Have you read anything about stoicism? Um, stoicism reminds me of a Roman statue. Yes. And um, a very fit physique. So very little to do with me. Um, <laughs> so uh, stoicism was one of the uh, your classical philosophies that... Uh, Stern face. Stern face. Well, and I, that, that I, think, I think that's more stereotype than, than truth. The, the idea behind stoicism was largely uh, there are things that you can control and there's things that you can control. And you should acknowledge the things that you can't control as things you can't control and move on to those things that you can and be okay, okay with that. Yeah. Um, with, yes, a level of uh, stern face, stiff upper lip, be tough, be strong. Don't be unfazed. Be unfazed by those things you can't control. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you read anything directed at men, read the art of manliness. So much of it is directed towards this concept of stoicism, this, this 
2,500 year old philosophy. And I'm not a hundred percent sure why that is. I haven't, I haven't uh, sat and considered it enough. Do you think that would overlap? There's this book that I only read part of um, and I listened to an interview. It was called to hell with the hustle. Mm -hmm. Do you think maybe that overlapped with like this concept of stoicism or maybe not? Cause that, that was really focused on like, the American culture and the busy, busy hustle and like hustle and grind sort of thing mm -hmm. and saying, no, like, forget about it. Like, let's move on. Yeah. I, I think there is overlap because it's a, uh, th that hustle uh, stems from a, I need more. I need more. I need more. I need more. I'm missing something. Okay. And where I think in stoic philosophies, and I haven't actually read any of the original source material, the Marcus Aurelius books, or there's, there's one that starts with an E. I don't remember. Epicurious. Uh, no, it's not right. Epi something. Um, they're, they're so incredibly dry. And I'm, I'm someone who reads somewhat voraciously and I couldn't get through these books. I might try again an audio book now that I uh, have a new audible credit. But um, uh, whereas this hustle culture stems from I need more. I need to do more. I, I am not enough. Oh, right. As yeah. I am. And this was saying to do the opposite of that. Stoicism uh, very much surrounds I am enough. Mm -hmm. I am strong without more than what I have today. Okay. So, yeah, there's some overlap. Yeah. I think there But is. now, where did this Father's Day article, how well, did this, it wrap it up? So, like most things directed at men, it was, it, it wrapped up saying uh, dads need to be disciplined. And how they conduct themselves. Okay. You can choose three things. Three things? You can choose two of these three things. Okay. You can choose uh, work, family, or social. Or self. Scene. Maybe self. No, that, it, it said work, social, and scene. This is this is written by a creative. So like the the, mm -hmm. the, the scene, the aesthetic, the the being around in the coffee shops with the people talking about things is, is more central to the this author's uh, life. But 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 social life is, I think, what they're getting at. Okay. Um you can either choose to have a good work life and a good social life at the sacrifice of your family okay. or a good work life and family life with the sacrifice of your social life yeah. or good family life and social life and sacrifice your work life. Okay. That um, seems like a reasonable. It, it, it's super reasonable. But uh, the way men are encouraged in uh, a lot of these journalism pieces, and this is no different, is... Oh, Aaron. Aaron just threw a watering can down the stairs and that's Okay. That's okay. I I am not worried about the things that I can't control. Ah, stoicism. Ah, stoicism. Okay. Uh, so you have the, to choose, like, so to, not choose, you choose but you are fighting. But like most things directed at men, it wasn't like, you got this, dad. You're great. Like we see in a lot of the, the mom encouragement. It's yeah, like, the, you need to get your shit together, dad. The high self-esteem. You need to choose what is right and do that thing that is right. Be more disciplined. Okay. Go forth and be disciplined. Interesting. And what's interesting is on on... On the face of it, not couched in the, the journalism language, that sounds really harsh. But at the same time, there, there's this like lizard monkey brain in the back of my man head that says, yeah, I'm going to go be tough, uh -huh. disciplined. Uh -huh. So in a way, it, it was an encouragement. Uh -huh. uh, and it just it's so interesting how uh, encouragements work differently. And I don't know, I think you might, because you're so uniquely you might get encouraged in the same way but probably yeah i do find interesting how uh the same message like a call to action a call to action sounds very different when it's targeted towards men and targeted towards women yeah i think so too mm -hmm. i I, I never so. see uh men are great you are strong you are power you are grace you are kindness but i do see those things those the uh, hyperboles towards towards women towards men it's get your shit together together man yeah yeah and i go yeah i will get my shit together let me go set an alarm so i can hit snooze on it tomorrow <laughs> uh, well it's father's day tomorrow so you hit that snooze button okay oh you think you're gonna wake up first tomorrow i could we'll find out i could i i, I won't hold my breath okay well okay, that's all i got that, i hope you guys enjoyed this um coffee chat i'm gonna give it a listen and as long as it doesn't sound too crazy you will be enjoying this for Father's Day weekend. Bye, guys.
Thanks for listening to today's episode. If you aren't already following us, please follow us on your Spotify or Apple podcast account and uh, look us up on Instagram at nuance underscore beauty until next week.